Alrighty, just here real fast. Uh, I, I didn't get to see a lot of the main card. I came in a little late. I actually missed the first round of uh, Jorge versus Nate. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But I got to see round two and I got to see uh, Nate come in strong. But almost like he was trying to make up for the first round. And he got caught and buckled. And then got finished. It was good. It was good. It was a real good finish for Jorge. It was a real interesting fight. And like I thought, it was going to be it was a fun fight. It was a really uh, hands on fight with guys just throwing at each other. And Jorge kind of moves up a ladder a little bit. Yeah, he's always been a good fighter. He's just getting consistent now. So that's really cool. Uh, then I got to catch, uh, what was it? The lights go out. Yeah, right before Strew versus Nelson. So instead, we get to watch. Uh, Gleason, Tia Bow, or Tia Bo, whichever you call him, versus uh, Carl, you know. And that, that fight was depressing because I hate Tia Bow. I, I just don't like the guy at all. I didn't like what he did in the air. I just, I don't like him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. And I didn't like him, you know, again, just dominating, you know, just, just, it was pretty savage. He got on top of him and he was, you know, rocking him back and forth with punches on the side of his face. And, uh, Juno was out of it, and thankfully it finally got called, and uh, yeah, T about one. Then we got back, and the lights came back on, and then we had Nelson versus Struve, and you know, all the stats were fun to look at because of the height difference and the length difference, and the fight happened, and Nelson had, I don't know where that speed came from, I haven't seen him ex you know display that kind of speed before, he's just running around the place, uh, finding all these little shots and stuff. Struve looked like Frankenstein. He just he wasn't working anything, and it, his jab looked slow, and everything just looked in slow mo when it came to him. And meanwhile, you have Roy Nelson running circles on him. It was great. I mean, it, Roy Nelson looked better than he did against Brendan. He looks better, and he got the KO. He's able to you know weave around the jab of Struve and catch him on the chin. So good for him. Uh, good fight. Yeah, I was reading these forums on SureDog, and a lot of negative feedback for Roy Nelson for whatever reason. You know, people don't like his physique, people don't like his attitude, but they, they were saying, you know, throw him to uh, Gilbert Ivel. And I was like, uh, you know, I thought it was kind of, you know, kind of a brash thing to say, but uh, I like to see that now. I think uh, he could take Ivel. But uh, I think Ivel's going to be fighting Ben Rothwell. So. Rough, yeah, Rothwell. And that'd be a good fight to see the winner from uh, fight Nelson. So I'd be good with that. Or give Nelson someone like uh, Duffy. That'd be interesting. But uh, Nelson's really showing himself. And Nelson really summed it up good for Struve, too. I mean, Struve is so young. He has so much more time to get good at this. He could put, He needs to put on, I'd say, put on some muscle if he can on his upper body. You know, he's like coming in at 243 and 6'11. That's crazy, you know, put some muscle on there and it'd be like freaking Saget from Street Fighter. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, he's still young in this game and he's got, uh, he was saying, you know, he'll be his peak around 25 or so and he's like 22 now. So, you know, he's got a bright future if he sticks to it and doesn't take too much damage like he just did. Um, then the main event, Takanori Gomi versus, what is, I forgot his name. Kenny Florian, that's it. I wanted to say Ben Stiller. Uh, when as I thought it would go, it was you know Florian's real technical but kind of boring with his striking. But I mean, uh, Gummy really had nothing for him, and you know Florian's working the jab and he gets a few kicks in too in the first two rounds. Yeah, you know, I could even make the argument maybe Gummy got the second round. I don't know. It was pretty close. I was. Uh, it seemed like Gummy was landing more that round. But then by the, the third, you know, you know what happens. He takes him down. Takes him down, sub, subs him. Uh, pretty pretty much what I thought was going to happen. It's kind of lackluster. It's kind of boring. But it's a decent win for Florian, you know. And, uh, you know, Gomi. I'd like to see him fight, like, Nate Diaz. I like that fight a lot, 155. I would love that. I think that'd be a really close war because I'd say both are at the same skill levels, and uh, that's anyone's fight. So yeah, that's what I like to see. Uh, Florin, you know, they're talking about Maynard. 
that'd be interesting. Yeah, I don't know how that would go at all. I, I would have to flip a coin for that one. And then, uh, you know, I guess he could make the argument if he won that on our one against BJ. Uh, we, I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the Ultimate Fighter stuff. Uh, right off the top of my head, they, they put these quick matches at first to show us, you know, guys. And they did the backstory of the losers, which made no sense to me. Because, I, I guess, I don't know why they wanted to do this. Why didn't they want to make someone get emotionally engaged to someone and watch them lose? I don't know how that helps them. Uh, it just, you're like, here's the Orthodox Jew. Love him. And he gets beat. Here's the evicted family man. Love him. And he is beat. And here is the violent suppressed elementary school teacher. I love him. And he is beat. I don't get the point of that. You know, you, you don't go in the backstory at all of any of the winners of those uh, first three fights. But you went into these backstory of all the losers. And you know the outcomes, UFC. Edit it where you have uh, maybe both or don't even put the losers backstory on there. I guess they wanted to try to swerve us, you know. These guys may have a shot at winning because they have a great backstory. Uh, no, they don't. They lost. But there were some interesting fights. I, I liked it. I liked the fights. I hated how most of them were clipped, though. That kind of sucks. But I guess a lot of them had a lot of boring parts. Um, the fighters that I like all, right off the bat, I don't. But again, I'm not really writing this shit down like I usually do. But I like the stocky wrestler who's like 5'8 and doesn't have a physique of, uh, you know, everyone else. And he's in there to win it and he's he's good at ground and pound. I liked him. I like the 18 and 15 guy who said he, he's chosen a lot of bad fights in the past and that's why he has such a bad record. But uh, he was pretty badass. And there was a guy that beat the French guy who was kind of an underdog, tall, lanky, white guy. I like him. But yeah, everyone else is a toss up. Uh, I don't know. And that last fight was really good. I forgot the name of the one guy, but one guy was named Kamazi, something like weird. And Kamazi lost, and he had a broken or orbital bone in his eye. Uh, pretty, it was a pretty crazy fight. And uh, yeah, and they had the theme, the crazy gimmick this year is they got a wild card. Uh, at the end, you know, at the end of the first round. You get to bring back one of your loser fighters to come back and get back into the the tournament, which is an interesting concept, I guess. I don't know. It just it, I don't know. It didn't really do much for me. I think it's kind of stupid, but you know, everyone's hoping for that. The, the problem is, you know, wild card. They don't really need that because they're probably a big chance that someone gets injured anyway, and they're gonna bring back someone anyway. So, you know, it kind of take care. It takes care of itself that way. So, yeah. Briggs, yeah, Briggs. He wants out really bad. It's rush hour, and we don't want him to get hit again. So yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, uh, Ultimate Fighter. You know, I didn't tape or anything. I was busy at work, so I, I just said, you know, I'm not gonna fool with it. But I'm gonna see if it appears on that site, the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Dot com and see uh, if if it doesn't, I might start doing recaps again. I just have to be in the mood. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have to say. War, the stocky wrestler, the 1815 guy, and the, the guy that beat the French guy. War, those guys. I want to see them do good. They probably won't, though. There's there's a lot of talent. Despite, you know, the, not having a lot of name value on this this roster, a lot of good undiscovered talent that we're all learning about at the same time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Really good premiere. Really good lead-in with the, Ulta, the UFN of... Uh, 21. Really good stuff. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed what I saw.